Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make the base for this beautiful Eiffel Tower box for upcoming Valentine's Day festival. So this is actually the ring box and the ring box is hidden. You can just open it like this so that you will get the box inside this. Ta-da! The surprise element. And you can also put small gifts inside this. So you can utilize this kind of box for proposed day. And without any further delay, let's start with the procedure. First, I'm taking this yellow color cardstock, which measures eight by eight centimeters, and from all four sides, I have creased on one point five centimeters. So first, I'm folding all the creases and burnishing it very well using bone folder. This cardstock is having three hundred gsm thickness. Now. I'm cutting from all four corners and constructing the box. Add little glue on this folded flaps and then connect with each other like this. So box is ready. Now I am proceeding to make the lid. For this, again I am taking one more square cardstock which measures 8.3 by 8.3 centimeters, and from all four sides I have creased on 1.5 centimeters. So again I am folding all the creases, cutting the corners, and constructing my box. So the lid is also ready and lid with the box is completely done. It's nicely fitting on the box. Then here I'm taking this pattern paper which measures 5 by 3 cm. I'm just folding this from center and covering all four sides of the box like this. This is the base box. And in the center, I'm adding one more pattern paper, which measures five by five centimeters. So this is done. In the same way, I have decorated the lid also. And on the lid, I haven't added the pattern paper from outside, only from the inside. And the box with the lid is ready. Now it's time to make our Eiffel Tower base. So for this, I have already drawn these two base images for the first layer and the second layer on yellow cardstock. The same yellow one, which is having 300 gsm thickness, and I have traced it on this. I have given the template of both the panels in the description box. You can check there. You just need to print it, and then you can simply trace it on your cardstock. So I will uh, share here which part you have to cut, which part you have to crease after tracing it on the cardstock. So just watch it carefully. Here I have cut the window from the top layer, and then I'm just dividing both the parts. And then we need to cut the corner and also this part completely. Then I am cutting this bottom door. And then I'm folding these parts using ball tool and scale. Just burnish all the parts very well using bone folder. 
and this is done now taking the top layer so again i am cutting some parts and creasing some parts so watch it carefully and then we'll proceed So this is also done. So both the parts are ready. So here is my template which is given in the description box with you. The same one I am using here for my project. Similarly, I have prepared three more bases. So this is the first layer and now it's time to join all four panels together to create the first layer of the Eiffel Tower. And the first layer is ready. I am just folding the topmost flaps like this. Nicely creased and perfectly made. Now it's time to stick our base box with this. So I have already added tape, double sided tape with the box and I am sticking on top of the base. So we can simply close this using lid which we have created and it is fitting perfectly now I am taking the second layer of the panels so these panels also we need in four quantity so that we can arrange it stick it together so again I have added here double sided tacky tape and I am just removing the liner and sticking all the panels together like this this is very easy to construct all parts should be having same size so that you will get the perfect shape now I am attaching the first part with the last one and this is done now it's time to add these small panels together so just adding glue on these folded small flaps and sticking with each other Now I'm just folding the topmost folded part like this and also the bottom most part. Then here I'm taking double sided tacky tape and sticking one square cardstock with this. This is the broad side of the panel. So I'm adding all four folded sides with this cardstock. This is the beautiful pattern paper by little birdie i have given link in description box for all the supplies so if you want to purchase anything you can just check there and if you are buying from itchy bitchy store you will get five percent extra discount you just need to apply coupon code shivani5611 
for the extra discounts so enjoy shopping and here I have added all four sides and this is done then trimming four more strips and sticking in the bottom removing the liner and sticking on top of the lid of the box like this so the box with the lid is ready and two layers of the Eiffel tower is also done now just taking one more piece of pattern paper hold it like this trace it using pencil and I have already cut the panel which is having same size as this so I'm just adding glue and sticking inside the window from all four sides so that it will also look nice from outside then here I'm taking one more cardstock which measures 4 by 4 centimeters removing the tacky tape liners and sticking on top of this second layer And this is also done so two layers are ready now it's time to make the third layer for this I'm taking this cardstock which measures 3 by 10.5 centimeters from left side I have creased on 0 0.6 centimeters and from right sides I'm creasing on 1 centimeters Then I am just finding out the center of this panel that is 2 cm. So from this marking we have to mark on left and right sides on 0.5 cm. And we just need to crease from this to this point. And we need to cut from this to this point. then I'm burnishing all the folds and in the same way I have prepared three more panels so again I'm joining all four panels together to create the topmost layer of the Eiffel Tower And this is done 
then I am taking one more 5 by 5 cm yellow cardstock and sticking on top of this for the finishing then sticking my topmost layer on top of this like this then here I am taking half strip of light yellow color in 3mm and making one tight coil then I will make one cone using pencil fill this cone using glue Then here I am taking this beautiful pearl bead and I am going to stick it on topmost part of the Eiffel Tower using B6000 glue. And on this pearl bead, I am going to adhere my quilled cone for the antenna. And the beautiful base of the Eiffel Tower is ready. So this is just a part one. And for all the decoration process, you need to find out the part two, which is coming very, very soon. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos. And don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates and check out the second part as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.